Good morning, Pincers. It's Tuesday. So, to begin with, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry if I seem kind of flaky during this video. Today's a migraine day and like I feel okay right now, but my brain is like not so good. So let's see, what is there going on? Uh, Phoebe, I'm really, I'm glad that you got to do that for your grandfather and you know, and for you and your mom and, and everything. I, I'm glad that you got to go and do the thing that you wanted to do. And also the first time you said Chincoteague, I didn't, I didn't like, I heard what you said, but like I didn't process it, I guess, because like my brain brain. But then the second time you said it, when you said ponies, I went, oh, Chincoteague Island. And like, because I read Misty of Chincoteague and I don't know, whatever the second book is in that series. And I think possibly the third book in that series. I don't know. Anyway, I read them when I was little. Anyway, everything I know about Chincoteague Island is, is what I learned from reading those books. So I don't know anything about it, but it was really neat like to see it and be like, oh, that's where you are. Like I know anything about it. Anyway, it made a connection in my head and that's always exciting. So let's see, what else? We got our first seed order of the season. We got some um, more insectary mixes and some milkweed, I think, is in this order. Um, the milkweed is for butterflies. Um, and oh, we got some Egyptian walking onions. And Egyptian walking onions are really cool because um, they make they don't they don't bulb like a you know like a sweet onion or something. They just make little tiny bulbs like a, like a green onion or something like that. But they put up a stalk, and when the stalk blooms, they make a bunch of little bulbs at the end, and they bend over um, because they're heavy. So when this bulb things like land on the ground, then they replant themselves. That's why they're called walking onions. So they sort of double multiply because they multiply from the little seed heads that replant themselves and then they multiply from the root. We're making big plans for the garden, um, but we always make big plans for the garden and they don't always come off. So I mean, I will, I will keep you all involved, you know. The calendulas are still blooming though. I mean, not a lot but they're still putting some flowers on. And I mean, it is the end of January. They have bloomed all winter long and they're not in a particularly sheltered space. So that's impressive. Okay, so uh, that's it, I think. And um, I have to go because this is a lot of light for my migrainey eyes right now. I love you all very much and I will see you next week. Don't forget to be awesome.